this is mint, and this is also mint. So it gives you an idea. These are both domesticated mints, um, but they're growing wild. Um, and I'll pass these around in a second, but what you'll notice is even if the leaves look a little bit different or the stems um, might be a little bit different in thickness or color, the dead giveaway for all mints is the leaves grow opposite to one another and they alternate. So they usually grow this way, then this way, then this way. Even if that isn't very noticeable in the plant, the dead giveaway for all mints is a square stem. Anything with a, with a clearly square stem is in the mint family and it's technically edible, even if it tastes horrible. <laughs> so I'll pass this this way and this one this way. What are the varieties? Um, this is just a regular, your, your kind of like vanilla, typical mint. Uh, I guess I shouldn't say vanilla because there are different flavors of mints. This is your typical wild mint. And uh, this is a chocolate mint on the other side here. How do you grow chocolate mint? It smells like skin. You can't. Huh? You, can, you can try it if you like. Um, it, they're different varieties. They, they all grow the same for the most part. They're very prolific and weedy. But um, you can cut um, a stem like a this stem. and mm -hmm. take off all the leaves that will be in water from the, from the stem. Stick it in water for about 10 days, and you'll usually have new roots growing for what? the most part. Just the stem? Yeah. So can if you, you cut it at an angle, it's... Takeaway? You can take one of those if you like, yeah. I mean, from your garden? Oh, these were actually picked along the way. I don't, I don't have them growing in here because of its um, weedy tendencies oh, for spreading. Nice. Yeah. It will, it will, it will definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, mint is great um, not only for its digestive healing qualities, um, and just, you know, it's refreshing on a hot day. It's very cooling. Um, but it's also... Um, rich in vitamins A and C, thiamine, folic acid, riboflavin, manganese, copper, potassium, iron, calcium, and zinc. Like I said, it soothes indigestion and aids the process of assimilating food. It treats nausea, uh, morning sickness, and irritable bowel syndrome. And a mint paste relieves um, or revitalizes the skin if you have poor circulation as well. You can also revitalizes the skin from poor circulation. You can also make a, um, a shampoo out of it too. If you have dandruff or any kind of fungal infection in the hair, um, you can make a concentrate or a paste out of it and then soak the scalp in it as well.